G'day gamers, Vata G here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be doing 122 uh, story chest openings uh, to see if we can get some premium items to drop. Uh, and if not, if we can get some tier 3 materials to drop. This is also a crystal giveaway video, guys. Uh, all you need to do is to comment on this video uh, with either your line ID, so line is an actual app, it's not, not your in-game name, your line ID or your email address. Any comment will do to go into the draw to win one of 20 crystal vouchers. Uh, each crystal voucher worth 300 crystals each. But before we get into the story mode fragment uh, combines, Tier 4 Storm coming. So it was data mined a while back. It was data mined when the um, Love and Thunder update hit. And I was skeptical. I was skeptical that, the, that she would get a Tier 4. I, I assumed that the next Tier 4 would be a speed character. I was personally hoping it would be Quicksilver um, or maybe even Luna. Uh, I thought that those two were real candidates, but no, we're going to get Storm Tier 4 and Iceman finally getting a Tier 3. Uh, I'm assuming it's a Tier 3 and not an Awaken, but I, but yeah, it looks like a Tier 3 skill. And he needs it. He's, you know, this uniform, which I did buy begrudgingly, uh, is pretty ordinary. Um, Storm was good for a little bit. She was, you know, very high DPS, bit of a glass cannon. Uh, and really both could do with an upgrade, so not complaining about either. So I'm not sure if I would bother... I mean, I don't even have Storm at Tier 3, right? I'm not sure if I'd bother Tier 4-ing her, um, considering those, there's no Alliance Battle Day for her. I, ex I really expect her to be uh, World Boss uh, Legend meta. So we'll just have a real quick look at that, um, at that sneak peek. And yeah, and then we'll get on with the openings. We won't muck around too much with that. Um, so yeah, Agent Spot, first hot summer, so summer uniforms, okay. Temperature has dropped violently and there are reports of sighting something in the vicious wind. Uh, why don't you chill out with us to weather the storm, we'll announce details through the patch later. So it's going to be a patch, not a full update. I do like this. I like that old school style uh, of that image um, in in the actual uh, sneak peek there. I think that looks really cool. Don't know if these uniforms are going to be worth getting. I, I have no clue. Uh, let's wait and see. But let's, without further ado, let's get into these story chest openings. Uh, we're going to go for the dimensional clash ones first and keep our fingers crossed. I mean, I, I've got one CTP out of this chest uh, out of all time, so I'm not expecting anything. We've got 52 of these to do uh, and yeah, fingers crossed. I'll keep a bit of a tally of how we're going in respect to the um, the tier four, uh, the tier three materials as well, uh, just so we have some bit of an idea of how we've gone overall. Uh, so far, nothing. I did wish this uh, animation to speed up just a touch, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments about uh, Storm Tier Four. I did seriously, I did find it very difficult to believe. There we go, Essence of Dimension, that it would be Storm, even though it was data mined by a very um, a very reliable source did the data mining, uh, and he's never usually wrong. Um, so, but yeah, still surprised. Really was expecting a speed character. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video over the next coming days. just about book drops. Um, but I, I won't do too much of a spoiler on that video. But yeah, I've, I've, I've taken a fair bit of footage of different things and kept a bit of a history uh, as to what's been happening with book drops for me. Um, also curious to know if it's affecting other players, but we'll leave that for another video. So there was just some Titans components packs back there. Um, so far, okay, Essence of Dimension. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take any tier three material. I think they're good drops. Uh, not super sure about the type enhancement tickets. To me, a um, little bit useless, um, but yeah. So, but really it's worth it for the grind when you get into drops of 250 uh, Essence of Dimension Titans components packs and a very small chance I, I'd like to know what the actual chance is of getting a CTP um, and we've got 33 tries left to try and get one out of this uh, story mode fragment I do I don't have as many Odin blessings uh, uh, what have we got here puzzle pieces uh, because I did blow them all when when the Odin's blessing combine event was up um, I thought that was probably the, the wise thing to do to see if I can, you know, get some standard six star Euro and do the Odin's Blessing combine and actually see if I can get Odin's Blessing at the same time. So I did use a few and I did pull one Odin's Blessings from those. Uh, I think I might have 15 or 20 odd of those uh, to, to pull. Um, uh, 
times. Component packs, not bad, not bad. Not too rusty at all. So yeah, the tally's getting up there already in tier 3 materials, which is, like I said, it's the primary reason why you do this first mission. Uh, like it, I, I, yeah, I can't even take a guess at what the CTP drop rate would be. Um, what else has been happening in game, guys? Well, I got tier, I got Thor up to level 80 pretty quickly. Uh, put a CTP of Rage on him. Uh, he doesn't do real well in Alliance Battle Extreme. Uh, he's pretty power, he's pretty damn powerful in World Boss Legend with just with a Rage. Um, he's pretty good at uh, clearing stories and story mode and you know not story mode. Pretty uh, okay. What are we at stage five? Okay, that's not not a bad one. Uh, pretty good at clearing um, all of the different modes. So whether it's dispatch, um, whether it is rifts, and pretty effective World Boss Legend as well. Have no intention of tier fouring Thor at all. Um, Really, the materials are so scarce that so you really have to be super careful about who you tier for. So unless they're just a pure favorite of yours, um, he, he would not be one that I would recommend tier fouring. Uh, but that's just me. That's that's just my mindset and my approach to the game. Another stage five, okay, that's not terrible. Um, it'd be nice to see a stage five mythic. But we're getting a few a few decent tier three drops, so it'll be interesting to roll back through this video, another one, and see how many we actually you know, how many tier 3 materials we actually get uh, through this chest opening exercise. Um, I do feel like I have better luck if I save the chests up, so I'm doing like 100 plus. I think we've got 122, I did a count this morning, 122 to pull. Uh, so if you have nothing else to do, stick around and watch and see if I get lucky um, in terms of premium drops. So the next one I'm going to do will be the Odin's Blessings one, then I'll go on to the card one. And then I'll come back finally and I'll do the Awakened ISO one, which is probably the least exciting of the lot. Three left to pull a CTP. Two left to pull a CTP. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. I've still been uh, grinding six star cards. Um, I think I've got 550 odd, so that's those ones there. So that one's over and done with. I think I've got 150 odd, uh, no, 550 odd six star cards. Um, saved up to try and re-roll an equipped card. Okay, so I've got 18 of these. So I'll be happy if we can get two Odin's Blessings out of this. I mean, one would be a good start, but if we can get two, I'd be really happy with that outcome. Okay, tier three materials, not bad. The six star Euro are not bad either, just quietly. I think this is, if you were gonna do any story mode, this is the one I'd be doing, is the Euro one. But that, you know, I, I, think, it, I think it has the best drop rates for uh, premium items. Uh, and outside of that, the six star euro are very handy anyway. And it really, it doesn't cost a lot of energy compared to say the first story mode, which we just did all the openings for. That takes a shitload of energy to actually get all those puzzle pieces. Not really going fantastic here um, in, in these openings. I was hoping for one Odin's Blessings by now. There we go, bang, right on cue. Um, we get one, so that's our first premium item and could it be the only premium item we get? I don't know. It's possible. I've got premium cards before. I've got a couple of premium cards out of the last story mission, um, but it is a rare event. But I do, they have, well, I've got two cards out of that and I've only got one CTP ever out of the first one. So maybe maybe the premium card drops are slightly better than the CTP drop rates. Um, but one Odin's Blessings and two left to go. I'd really like to get another one. Let's open out a 17 that I get two. Okay, but we didn't. Um, yeah, kind of interesting with Iceman. I think Iceman is an interesting choice. He has kind of been uh, neglected. I might have to stop and clear inventory here um, for this one. I've got 31 of these fellas, and I know I've only got 12 inventory spaces or something. If that happens, I'll just um, I'll just cut it out of the video. So yeah, it will be interesting to see what happens with Iceman. Uh, that large uniform, I think it's probably one of the most useless uniforms um, I've encountered in this game. Uh, it's also a pretty poor looking uniform. It looks like it's been designed very hastily. Um, obviously copying something in the comics, but it, they could have added a bit more flair to it. It's, you know, they're putting a blue uniform on a blue dude. Um, I don't know. They could have done some different rendering or shading or whatever. I don't know. It just, it just looks half finished, that Iceman uniform. And why did I buy it? I don't really know. I can't answer that question. Was it maybe it's a sub uniform for for an Alliance Battle Extreme character? Six star card. 
Um, not going real great on this card one so far. Oh, a couple of six stars, I suppose. Okay, a few five stars. So once we tally those five stars up, we might get a couple of six stars out of them as well. And that will add to the actual mountain that I, that I have amassed at the moment. Okay, Essence of Dimension, not going to argue with that. That's not terrible. Okay, another six star. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see where uh, Iceman actually fits in. Um, like I said in the opening, I kind of th I kind of think that both of those characters, Storm and Iceman, will be world boss legend type characters. Um, and yeah, both being blast. I mean, I wonder if wonder if they might get a they might get some sort of uniform that may transform them uh, into a different type. It'd be pretty. You know, it'd be interesting if uh, Iceman. Um, got a uniform that um, so that's going to take us up to semi. So we got 572 uh, booster cards there at the moment. So getting a fair old tally. Still not confident enough to try and roll for a quality seven with that with that amount, which is ridiculous in the scheme of things. You would kind of think 500 cards would be enough, uh, but just chatting with other people in Awesome Mix Volume One, and they're saying they're up to over a thousand cards on on certain. On certain cars to to get them to a quality seven but the flip the flip could happen where you could actually you know you could roll ten times and get a quality seven um, so it's just a matter of how uh, how brazen you are with your gambling instinct and for me I'm very conservative with any of that type of stuff um, so I'll probably just keep on grinding until maybe I get a thousand or or 800 or something and, and go for it then uh, or until I'm kind of just sick of grinding and then I'll just say, you know what, screw it, we're going to go for it anyway. Uh, but when I do that, I will make another video of it. I might have to play the video in double time because there's a lot of re-rolls, isn't it? It's a huge amount of card re-rolls. Um, so on the last one of these, no premium drops either. Um, uh, definitely not calling six-star cards a premium drop these, these days. Um, so we get get rid of these, trim a couple of these, more of these back into inventory before I go onto the ISO one, and uh, see what we get from there. We got, you know, what we have probably got close to ten six star cards out of that. So if you if you're farming for cards, it's not a bad place to be doing it. Uh, is just doing that story because I mean it, it, there's only three missions in that one, so it's really only twenty four energy. Um, it's it's not and and doesn't take a huge amount of time. So how many of these things have we got? 20, 21. 21, let's, you know, Awakened ISOs do drop pretty frequently through here, so I won't be surprised if we get a handful. Um, but really, out of this one, I would prefer T3 materials rather than Awakened ISOs. I'm pretty, I'm pretty set for Awakened ISOs, let's put it that way. I think I've got a couple of hundred uh, saved up in inventory, uh, maybe more than that. But let's, anyway, we'll go through this we'll go through this exercise and see if we can um, see if we can pull a, you know there we go essence of dimension see if we can pull some of these tier three materials yeah storm storm at the moment definitely does not lack DPS I mean she's certainly she's got that real burst energy uh, associated with her her skill is actually quite cool at the moment uh, with that uniform I didn't tier three her because I didn't really have a use for her at that point in time. Um, but you know, if she's if she's going to be really good, there we go. First awakened, uh, all defense. If she's going to be if she's going to be good uh, in World Boss Legend, I might I might even consider tier threeing her and buying the uniform. Um, these summer days uniforms, yeah, they kind of the acquisition method is not ideal. Uh, it would be nice to not have them as paywall as what they are with the summer days uniforms. But it's just something that we've become accustomed to. Uh, the summer days uniforms generally pre OP as well, um, so it is. They are desirable items generally. Uh, I can't remember too many summer days uniforms which have been garbage. Let's put it that way. Um, so any any our guys another awaken there. Come to the end of this video and haven't really haven't really dominated uh, the premium items at all uh what do we get one odin's blessings got zero ctp zero premium cards and a couple of awakened isos so i'll just quickly tally up the um the tier three materials uh thanks for watching remember this is a crystal giveaway video and 
yeah, all you need to do is comment with your line ID or email address to go into the draw, which I will do over the next week or so. Guys, thanks, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. See ya.